Hi, I'm Joe Connolly with Everton Borges, a Long Island business owner in the plastics industry, which involves lots of other industries. What's interesting is that Everton came from Brazil, started out as a custodian, rose in the company, and then he bought not the company he worked for at first, but he bought a former competitor. So he's risen to the top twice. That's correct. Everton. Um, what does your plastics business do in layman's terms? Absolutely. So our plastic business uh, it basically rolls back to a, a middleman between the raw materials and the final user. We actually, uh, to a certain extent, we give uh, plastic superpowers. We put uh, colors and we add, and additives to the plastic so it can be intended for purpose of uh, um, uh, molding, which happens to be the part where you see everything around you. And then the maker of the toothbrush or uh, cup and saucer toys molds it with your mold, toys. Uh, absolutely. Right. What are your molds used for? Yeah, give us a list. So basically, um, so basically every molder requires the specifics for their product. Right. Uh, so every molder has its own specifications and that's where we come in. We, we come in and we assess what the necessity, uh, necessities are and what their specifications you know, are required and we bring the raw material which is basically a transparent or a white you know, grade material, in this case plastics, to a specifics to the industry. You came up through the ranks at a company, it went out of business, folded, sold or what, what, what was the business story here? Sure, sure. So, uh, so back in, in 1990 uh, when I was, you know, just a bit younger, a bit faster, uh, mm -hmm. I, I was able to get this job just fresh, you know, out of college, you know, landed here in New York City. Um, I met this person, he offered me the, the gig, I jump in, and uh, since, you know, the the language wasn't there, the know-how, you know, there was no skill set at the, at the time, uh, I was offered to, you know, basically, you know, clean, you know, clean the area and, 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 and learn how to, you know, how to do things in there. So, uh, long story short, uh, so, I, you know, from, from cleaning floors, running machines, to fixing them, to learn the technical side, to learn the, you know, the, uh, the financial side. Learn everything. Happened. Everything. Wow, yes, what an education. Soups. That's the, what they call home sea grown. Uh, yeah. And there was, you know, very, you know, it was a very good place. You know, the entrepreneur there was, you know, very good person. What happened? Well, he, uh, it was a family business uh, on operated uh, uh, environment. So the entrepreneur ended up being very ill. And since it was a family owned, uh, my, you know, my former boss, which happened to be the son of the entrepreneur, didn't want the company to end up in some sort of auction or, you know, some other, you know, area where there was disintegrate immediately, put everything out of work and, you know, with no planning. So the company was actually acquired by a major corporation, um, Europe, you know, from Europe. One day, you know, uh, my foreign boss said, hey, why don't you, you know, there's a group of people, young people, why don't you come, you know, come around, show them the place, tell them, you know, tell them what we were all about, right? So, um, so I did, you know, young people, you know, 20, 25 years old, you know, the all European, you know, you can tell in the accent. So, um, uh, I'm showing around and explain to them what we did in the machinery and everything else. And uh, one of them actually happened to uh, notice, you know, my uh, my ad my accent, and uh, you know, and, and divert the, you know from my English to a Spanish you know language, and and we just click immediately. You know, it's funny how you know when when you can. You're giving him a tour. Absolutely, okay. right, right in the air. And uh, we just talk and, and explain. And he tell you know he tells me it was from you know he was from Belgium and he learned Spanish in, in he was two years in Spain. That's how he learned Spanish, so on and so forth. Three months later, the same group of people comes back. They actually purchased the business. Why did you leave Company A to buy Company B? I was traveling quite a bit. Uh, you know, the last year I was with them, I did about 38 trips that year. And one day, you know, this phone call came and said, hey, uh, Spectra, which happens to be our, you know, our uh, a competitor back in the day, much smaller company. They right. kind of fed off the, uh, you know, uh, of our, you know, our table. We're a hundred, you know, hundred twenty million dollar company. Yeah, by the, by they the end fed of off the your day. table. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> but they were doing, you know, they're doing the little thing. Right. They were good. Yeah. You know, they were comfy there. And um, so I knock on the door. You know, basically uh, out of the blue. So what happens? This, you know, this company's been there for over thirty years. And the entrepreneur, you know, uh, a few years ago, after you know, she was on a seventy plus years old, she was also tired, so so she decided to kind of, you know, work out a deal with old-term employee that's still, you know, still with us to the date, and... Um, so you bought it? Right on. You know, I went there and said, look, look can I see a machine? Because I, I had a thought the machine had come out an hour later with a company. An hour? An hour later. You bought it in an hour? Within an hour. And I, you know, went home and said, I told my wife, look, 
I just wrapped myself in a nice big dad. So uh, we're going to do this together, and we're going to have a lots of fun. What a story. So this is three months ago. That was three months ago, yes. And did you get a loan uh, from the SBA to, and to help? Since then, yes. Because you were experienced. Absolutely. You knew what you were doing. You have eight employees now? Right now I have eight employees, yes. And um, you got all of their customers? Do they have a good customer base? Oh, yeah, we have a good customer. We have about, you know, currently we have about 80 customers. Um, which happens to be, you know, a small portion of what the customers that we used to deal with. So I have another, uh, you know, just I have uh, about another 395 customers, 96 to be exactly, to go after. So, so manufacturing's not dead. The wave of the American dream is is back. I'm, I mean, I live in, I'm living proof of it, and uh, and I believe that you know nowadays, the, you know, the industry, as you know, as a whole, it's you know, it's has. A different sense of uh, urgency and values. So I firmly believe that you know uh, it's not dead by no means, and as a matter of fact, it's it's growing at a very fast pace.